these are probably at 20, or they are at 22. Okay. Angel Stormo is approaching 50. That milestone made her take a look at her life and future. My highest weight was 300. I was a size 28. In September, she began a diet. In December, surgery to make her stomach smaller. But something important was missing exercise because of surgery complications and joint pain. I had always walked. I you know, walked the park probably five days a week. When I blew out my knee, the weight started going on, vicious cycle, you can't really exercise. Her weight loss hit a plateau until she became one of the latest people to try space age technology created by NASA. It was amazing. The first day I got on it, I did about two and a half, 2.5 miles an hour for 30 minutes. I have not walked in 10 years. Picture the astronauts walking on the moon. There's less gravity than on Earth to pull their body weight down, so they feel lighter and walk and bounce more easily. Well, that's exactly what's happening here on the Alter G treadmill. Weight loss brought Angel from a size 28 to a 22. Just five weeks of exercise on the Alter G got her off of the plateau and down to a size 16. She is 85 pounds lighter. The way I feel and the inches that are being lost is amazing. In his late 50s, Henry Knoll Jr. was having a similar problem as Angel. Uh, I was a biscuit under 300 pounds, about 298 pounds. A rare joint condition and his weight caused his knees to be nearly bone on bone. It was painful. So last July, he used an internet tool called MyFitnessPal.com and lost 55 pounds. So instead of eating uh, a four inch uh, slab of uh, lasagna, I began to eat a two inch slab and I controlled my weight by cutting the calories down. He also discovered the Alter G treadmill. It felt good. <laughs> it felt like I could I'd do something again. And I'm up to a half hour now being able to walk. And the first time I was able to run in about 15 to 16 years was two weeks ago. This $25,000 machine gives you instant control of how much body weight is pounding on each step. You're zipped into special pants, then your lower body is locked into airtight surroundings. You decide to feel 100 or 0% of your body weight or any amount in between. It helps them um, be able to go for 30, 45 minutes, whereas otherwise they'd be walking for about one to two minutes and they'd be done because of the pain. This way they're absolutely 100% pain free. Doctors and fitness experts say exercise can do things for your health and body that calorie counting can't. If you just diet, your metabolism slows. So as it slows, it's, it's going to make you want to store body fat. But if you continue to exercise, you will actually have to burn calories. The key is to do as minimal muscle loss because if you lose a muscle, you slow your metabolic rate down. Exercise helps the heart, reduces stress, and helps joints, ligaments, and muscles keep the full range of motion. And exercise may keep you from surgery. I've had uh, several people who lost weight, lost 80 or 100 pounds after bariatric procedures, built up their stamina and endurance, and lo and behold, their back pain gets 60, 70 percent better, their knee pain gets better. Exercising their weight off is helping these two reach some emotional goals. For Angel, it's being able to play on the floor with her grandchild and something more personal. I want to go to Jazz Fest. I want to go to Jazz Fest and to walk and to enjoy. For Henry, now that he can walk without pain, it's the steps in the Superdome. I'm hoping they'll go back to the Saints game next year because I've lost this, this weight. For Weight Loss Wednesday, I'm Meg Ferris. They both, both look great. The Alter G treadmill, by the way, also used for rehab after injuries, surgery, even for athletes. Most insurance will pay for it if it's part of rehab or anyone can buy a monthly membership package to use it. For details or to watch any of Meg's other stories, go to Weight Loss Wednesday page at WWLTV.com. Good luck to them both. Mm -hmm.